City Council members have a month to reach a compromise over a new ward map that'll shape the city's politics for the next decade. In addition, not everyone on the council supports the mayor's plan to use $12.5 million in taxpayer money to give out prepaid gas cards and CTA passes. Joining us to talk about this and more are Alderman Gilbert Villegas of the 36th Ward on the Northwest Side and Chair of the Latino Caucus. Alderman Howard Brookins of the 21st Ward on the South Side. He also serves as Transportation and Public Way Committee Chairman. And Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez of the 25th Ward on the West Side. Gentlemen, thanks to you all for joining us. Alderman Villegas, let's start with you, please. Uh, you told WTTW News yesterday that there has been no progress over uh, the ward remapping uh, process. Are there any plans from the Latino Caucus to revise the map to reach a consensus? Well, here, let me just say thank you for, for having us on. Um, you know, we're still about 30 days away uh, from uh, having to make a final decision. And I can tell you that uh, we have we have um, uh, sent some, over some proposals on some what we figure are some points that could be negotiated. And so we're waiting to see if there's an opportunity uh, to go back in and see if there can be some movement on it. We well, put forward about four or five uh, issue, uh, four or five issues. And so we're waiting to see uh, if there could be some negotiation on that. Will you share what some of those points might be? Yeah, of course. So it, it, it's more about if you take a look at the map as as as, as proposed by the uh, by the rules committee, uh, there's some, a, a lot of gerrymandering uh, that's going on, and so we want to fix some of that stuff, especially on the northwest side of the city and the southwest side of the city. Also on the tenth ward, there's some adjustments there that we'd like to see, as well as the uh, the uh, discussion around potentially instead of a fifteenth uh, ward, but potentially having a 50-50 ward that will over the next decade allow for the Latino population to increase. Look, we want to we want to figure a way to get to a point where we can come to an agreement. You know, these at the end of the day, these are our colleagues. Uh, right now, we're just in disagreement with an ordinance, uh, and we want to see if there's an opportunity to, to get to a resolution. Now, uh, an April 6th letter from Alderman or Alderperson Michelle Harris, uh, who's been working on the Black Caucus's map, um, said to you, Alderman Villegas, that she would not reopen the entire remap process. And in fact, she went on to accuse you of engaging in stunts and games. What's your reaction to that? Well, I would say that uh, we're not looking to open the map, the entire map either. We're looking, we're trying to find a way to fix some of the, the areas that uh, would allow us to follow the Latino census tracts, which would then put us in a position to ensure that for the next decade, we would have the opportunity, right, under the Voting Rights Act, all we're asking for is an opportunity to elect representation that's effective of the community. Uh, so these are not stunts and games. These, what, these, what this is, uh, we've been doing this for the past uh, six months. We put forward a map six weeks in advance of the December 1st deadline in order to spark discussion, to spark, spark dialogue. Uh, and we've been steadfast in saying that we want to make sure that we're following the data, the Voting Rights Act, and listening to what the residents of Chicago want. Alderman Brookins, what path forward do you see for the remap process? Well, right now we're obviously at an impasse and we're stuck in that if nothing happens, this will go to a referendum with the two maps that have already been proposed and that are out there. Um, I think the only way forward is if there is 41 aldermen willing to sign on to uh, whatever the compromise is. And I don't know that there are 41 out there, at least as, as we speak right now. Um, with, with that said, and, and listening to what uh, some of the things that Chairman Viegas said is that um, we're going to get to another war remap in eight years. It's not going to take another decade. Uh, so we're already in 2022. By uh, 2030, uh, there will be another map, and I suspect that the population will change and shift again. Uh, we do have to work with our colleagues, and that's kind of how it's always been done uh, over the years in, 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 in trying to uh, straighten out territorial disputes. Uh, but I do think that there is a potential compromise out there. The question is, is there enough time to get to it? Alderman Sigcho Lopez, what would be the impact of a referendum if it comes to that? Well, the impact of the referendum will decide, for instance, the fate of uh, mega developments, for instance, you know, the Lincoln, Lincoln Yards, in our case, the 78, uh, where we have differences in terms of what the future of those developments are. Uh, I think that we also have to see the impact on our communities. 
We all want to see what's best for the city. We believe in fair representation following the census. We want the best uh, and the most adequate representation, fair representation for the black and the Latino communities. And ultimately, we are not able to reach that agreement. I think it's appropriate for the voters to decide in the, on the referendum on June 28th. Okay, so we know uh, the mayor has proposed uh, a gas card lottery, a giveaway, um, and it's something that she spoke about today during a speech at the City Club. Here she is. We believe that this is the right thing to do, given the fact that gas prices have skyrocketed. They haven't come down um, yet. Um, and this, as we know, every summer the prices go um, up even more. So that's why we're um, rolling this out over in increments over the course of the summer to continue uh, to give people relief. And of course, that's at uh, the media availability. She was speaking to reporters after the speech at City Club. Alderman Brookins, are you confident that this will pass City Council? I, I think that ultimately there will be 26 votes to pass this. Um, one, um, it has been shown based on uh, Willie Wilson's get gas giveaways, uh, people crying out that the uh, gas at the pump is too high, that there is a need and that people are in desperate straits right now. Uh, this is some measure of, of, of help for them, a significant amount of people in the city of Chicago. So I think that uh, there will be ultimately enough votes to get this thing passed. Alderman Sigcho Lopez, is a, is a giveaway the right way to provide relief right now? We want to make sure, again, I think some of the concerns that we hear from colleagues is to make sure that the subsidies reach those who are really in bad shape, you know, those communities who really are uh, being hit hard by the pandemic is being extremely uh, difficult for uh, most vulnerable families on the southwest side of the city, black and brown communities who are really impacted by the pandemic. I hope that ultimately we reach an agreement that is in the best interest of our constituents and we focalize subsidies based on need uh, and I think that always the devil is in the detail. I do hope that we get uh, not only to the 26, but an agreement that these subsidies will really reach to those who are really in need. So we have a look at what those cards uh, would look like. Uh, Alderman Villegas, should the mayor have her name? And you can see like, in the top left corner, uh, her name is there. Uh, Alderman Villegas, should the mayor have her name on the $150 prepaid gas card that goes to Chicago voters 10 months before the election? Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think that's a that's a good look. Listen. I'm all for helping the people. I champion the guaranteed basic income, which is gonna put, put money into the hands of people. So I'm all about making sure that we're getting money into the hands of the people. The American Rescue Plan that passed was passed because people need help. And so the quicker that we can get uh, funds into the people that need that money the, the best in order to help them recover from this pandemic, uh, I'm all for it. I was opposed to the three, three cents, uh, removal of the three cents gas tax because that's revenue that we're losing. By, by allowing these gas cards uh, to be uh, uh, to be utilized, we help the people, but we also make sure we capture that revenue. So that's why um, I'm, I'm looking at it. I want to see the the territory because I want to make sure that it does include uh, as many people as possible that that, that need assistance. Um, but look, I, I've been for making sure that we're we're putting hand, money into the hands of people. Okay, so that's where we'll have to leave it for now. Uh, but the three of you are sticking around uh, to join us again later on in the program to discuss the three finalists for Chicago's Casino. But for now, our thanks to older people, Gilbert Villegas, Howard Brookins, and Byron Sicho Lopez.